welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Food Expert Chi, and today we're going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to cook some dumplings for lunch. I'm so hungry, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's very easy, so you guys don't panic. Just follow me into the kitchen. Let's go. Just a sneak a peek of the gas in Taiwan, the gas used for cooking, and every single family or most families in Taiwan need to purchase these bottles and covering up their phone numbers okay they need to purchase these bottles every once in a while just to have hot water or have gas to cook okay and today I'm going to cook so I'm going to turn this on okay there is a um, the date of when this bottle needs to get checked next time and this is done by the company that provides these bottles here is the date that's still a little bit away so that's safe step one you just pour water how much water as long as it covers every dumpling then that's enough so here is water. Yes, when you boil the water. Yes. Okay, you wait until the water boils. Okay guys, so here's the boiling water and that's very easy. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Here are the frozen dumplings and I'm using the corn flavor today. Corn flavored dumplings are called yu mi shui jiao in Mandarin. Pour them in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm using my hand. Oh, oh, oh. I only have one hand. Okay, so these are the frozen dumplings and they are going in to the Normally, one person is about 8 to 15, depends on who and how much that person eats. I'm just going to pour the whole thing because uh, I'm making lunch for me and my dad, so it's going to be a lot. Now that all the dumplings are in the pot, you have to stir it every once in a while just to make sure that they're not stuck on the bottom of the pot. Otherwise, you will have a problem. You will have a pot full of broken, ugly dumplings, and that's no good. All right, so every like three, five minutes, or maybe less, you have to stir it just to make sure nothing is stuck. Okay, and then we're just gonna wait until it boils, and that, and when all the dumplings are swimming like this, that means they're ready to eat. Okay, guys, just don't go away. Stay around your pot and make sure that none of them are stuck. This is what it looks like nearly three minutes later, and I have stirred it for five times already because for some reason it's really sticky today. And I would like to point out that you need to make sure that the fire is not too crazy. This is what the fire is supposed to look like. Otherwise, you will dump your dumplings will not cook as good as they should be cooked and so these are the dumplings and we're going to wait for another around five minutes until it's ready to go on to the table and another thing is I would recommend you to cover it with a transparent cover so that when it gets really too boily then you'll see it and you can just remove the cover I'll show you how to do it later and by covering it you're also saving some energy which is very important for the environment we'll try to be economically friendly right See that the foam is kind of building up and that it will become 
um, full and full of foam and then I'll just open the cover when it's about to come out. That's what I was talking about. Just keep doing that for like five times and you'll be ready to serve the dumplings. Okay guys, by seeing the dumplings float and seeing them expand a little bit, you can tell that they're ready to serve, to be served. Okay, so these dumplings are done and I'm just going to put them on a plate. I've already got the plate here next to me, and we're just going to take one out, just to show you. Okay, there you go. People say that uh, dumplings are really similar to yuan bao. Yuan bao is uh, the money in ancient times, so that means good luck and fulfillment, which is very interesting and meaningful. I have to apologize because I misjudged it. In the beginning of this video I said that these are corn flavored but they're not. From the aroma I can tell that they are curry flavored which is a modern nice flavor. Okay, cut it. There you go. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is the curry flavored dumpling. Inside it's just cabbage and pork and a lot of curry. Amen. Okay, bon appetit. Let's eat it. These are my favorite chopsticks. Mm. It's pretty chewy and inside you can taste a lot, a lot of curd flavor. Mm. This is definitely something you need to try in Taiwan. It's so typical and so popular. You guys have to try it. Dumplings are called shui jiao. Shui means water. And jiao means dumplings. So basically, it's the dumplings boiled in water. So that's why we call them shui jiao. Shui jiao. Okay, guys. This is the promised corn flavor. Let's cut it open and see how much corn we have on the inside. Okay. Okay. Oh, I already see one corn. Turn it around. Ooh, I make it look really gross. Okay, guys. See? Oh. Oh, look at that. This is the corn flavor. This is one of my favorite flavors. One of these costs 2.5 NT dollars in the shop. This is one of my favorite flavors, so let's eat it, eat it, eat it. The corn, if you bite it open, soup will go straight into your mouth, and that's so delicious. And then uh, the tiny bit crunch coming from the corn combined with the chewiness of the skin. This is really very delicious. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please favor this video. Share it with your friends and family and check out my other videos as well and subscribe. Come to Taiwan. Eat dumplings, eat shui jiao because it's very delicious. So delicious. So traditional and so loved by everybody else. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. And don't forget to write down your comments down in the comment section here below. I love to hear from you. I love it. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.